All right, YouTube, I'm back. Are you tired of guessing what I found last night? Okay. I'm not going to make you struggle no more. I'm not going to make you suffer no more. Uh, earlier, you all seen the Hoover convertible. By the way, my guy was able to fix that. Shouts out to my man Cliff. Cliffy Cliff. Major love. Um, but last night, we scored. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Got all those last night. You know. What had happened was I left work. I was on my way home. Seen this big ass yard sale. When I say it was humongous, this yard sale, bro, they had Walmart baskets at the dim. You cannot make this up, man. You can't. I should have recorded this. They had real Walmart shopping carts at this damn yard sale. They had owls of shit outside. What I did was, they had a yard sale. I got out the yard, blah, got out my car. They was like, take a look around. We have everything you're looking for. And blah, 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 blah. Welcome. If you have any questions about anything, blah, 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 let us know. And we ain't blah, 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 whatever. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. So, I'm up there walking around. It was like an outdoor thrift store. It was cool as shit. I turned the corner. The very first thing I found with this was this beautiful Eureka Power Line. This uh, black and gold one. This is a 10 amp. Now the headlight, um, it flickers. It comes on for a little while. It goes off, then it comes back on, then it goes off. Beautiful machine. Very beautiful. That was the very first one I saw. All they wanted for this was $3. $3 for that black and gold power line. That's it. And it's a complete machine. Came with everything. Two extension wires, the holes. I think the only thing that one was missing was the uh, crevice tool. Which is fine because I got plenty of weight in the storage. But hold up. That's not it. Right next door to that power line was this power line. That one is a 12 amp. I said, oh, hell yeah. If you think back to the Eureka commercials, they made a uh, commercial with both of these Eureka power lines. How ironic is that? The crazy part is, in that commercial, the black and gold one was a 10 amp. They called it the true power. And then the highest power was this here uh, 12 amp. What do you know? Found that 12 amp red one. Found this 10 amp uh, black and gold one. Bad. I'm definitely getting both of these. I spent, I think I paid five for the uh, red one. Okay. I put those in my cart. Okay. I go up to the front, check out. I put those in my trunk. Now, something told me to go back up there because I was done, but something told me to go back. I go back up there. I keep on walking, keep on looking. There was a big old curtain, kind of like this big old beautiful blue one. I seen the bottom of it sticking out and all I seen was Hoover Elite. I said, oh, it's a pink Hoover Elite. Yes, it is a pink Hoover Elite. It's a 350. Guess how much I paid for it? 350! No, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> nah, that one was, uh, I think I paid six bucks for that one. And then, um. I put that one inside the uh, inside the shopping cart. I was just cheesing, happy as hell, like, man, this is a score. What do you know? I keep on walking. I'm just chugging along, walking along, right there by this big ass beautiful fountain, which they wanted like three hundred dollars for that thing. It was beautiful. I should have got it, but hell, put it where. Anyway, I seen this Hoover convertible right next to it. I said, all right. I'm taking this one as well. I put these in the shopping cart. I come back up to the front. The lady was just live and she was like, man, how many vacuums you want, man? I said, look, lady, don't tease me. I'm a collector. And she said, oh, that's awesome. She tells me her son is a collector. I said, ain't that about a bit? I said, so why didn't you just get it to your son? Seems that the son moved off to Chicago or something. I don't know. 
And he like kind of like quit collecting. I'm like, well, shit. And I think uh, I want to say maybe two of these. I don't know which two, but I think she said two of these um, was his in the past. And um, I guess before the yard sale, she asked him, could they sell them? And he was like, fuck it. Go ahead. I'm like, bad. Hell yeah. So shout out to the son. Now they belong to me. So all last night, well, yesterday evening, I got these around like 5 p.m. yesterday. So we got Hoover convertible, which is now fixed. That's going to be the first one you get to hear. Black and gold power line. Beautiful. Runs amazing. Sounds amazing. Just needs a uh, headlight. So does the red one. Um, both of the Eureka power lines need headlights. Um, somebody told me the AutoZone carry this type of light. It's like a dome light for like a car. So I might go check that out. I'm going to keep it out just for that purpose. And it's Hoover Elite. So I will run all four of them for you. Let's get to it. Oops, my bad. Hold up. Hold up. Check this out. It's magic. Sounds way better. And um I forget your name. You comment on my last video. You were right. The uh the bearings on that brush roll was really dry. So he pretty much took those off and he uh put some new ones on there and it sounds a lot better. So shouts out to you. Now the Eureka Pire line, the black and gold one. Sounds absolutely amazing. I love that thing. And I'm never gonna wash the bag. So, to y'all that's been following me for the last two, three years, I have another one that's like this, that's in my closet. Um, this one is the 10 amp version, but the one I got back there, that's my 11 amp version. That's like the Bravo 2 style one. And um, that one don't have this little, uh, the little uh, fancy uh, bottom. A Couple years ago, I washed it because the bag was dirty and all the damn power line, Eureka power line where it fell off the back. I was pissed. Lesson learned, I'll never do it again. Anyway, that's the 10 amp version to the uh, Eureka power line. Here's the 12 amp version, the hard body one. Let's run that one. Very beautiful. Last but not least, the Hoover Elite 350 in the house. Let's run that one. Only thing wrong with that one, it doesn't have the headlight, and that part doesn't always catch. It's missing the uh, nozzle to uh, make it go high and low, but it still does work very amazing. Wait, hold on. Hold on. There you go. Bam. So, yeah, that's what your boy found yesterday. Very happy. Very happy. Now where the hell are they going to go? I have no clue. Because I've seen my uh, closets and it's like, yeah, I'm a little too packed up in here. So, yeah. I'm not too packed. I'm too packed. I'm too damn packed. There's no more room for vacuums. Yet I keep getting them. I got a problem, people. I don't know what my problem is, but I, I got to stop this mess. I got to stop this madness. But I couldn't say no to him, man. I, I, I couldn't. 
when I seen the Eureka Power Line Black and Gold, I knew I was going to get that one. When I seen the Burgundy, I knew I was going to get that one. When I seen the Hoover uh, 350, I knew I was going to get that one. When I seen all of them, I knew I was going to get all of them. So here they are. Please come watch, like, and subscribe to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Um, I will try to get to some more requests sometime later on this weekend. Um, don't quote me because your boy be busy all the time. And when I'm not busy, I be lazy as hell. Just want to chill and just relax with my lady. So, yeah. But with that being said, get over here, man. Come watch, like, and subscribe. I will try to leave more content. I've been slacking with the videos. I do apologize. Um, but thank y'all for loving me. And thank you for taking time out your day to uh, watch the videos. Uh, shout out to Marshall Studios. Uh... We love you, man. Thank you for uh, for all your support and thank you for all the shout outs. Um, to anyone who rock with Kevin Love, thank you. I want you to know it is greatly appreciated. I do appreciate you. So please don't think that I don't because I do. You heard it straight from my mouth. I appreciate the hell out of you. Thank you. I love you. Um... I think I'm gonna try to go to St. Louis, Missouri sometime, maybe sometime next month, like towards the end of next month to do like a meet and greet. Uh, there's a vacuum fan club out there and they gonna be meeting up and I guess they're supposed to have like a, um, like a meet and greet with some of the uh, YouTube fans. So tune in, I'll let you know more about that. Until then, uh, have a blessed day, happy Saturday and we love you, thank you.